Welcome. On this day, we remember the saints in our lives. It is All Saints Sunday around the world. And so later on in this service, we will remember those who have passed through our lives who have died this year. We welcome you today. I am Larry Clark, uh, along with Elizabeth Rand, who is preaching today, are the pastors of this congregation. We are glad that you are here with us. We welcome everyone. We welcome you if you're poor or rich. We welcome you if you're gay, straight, transgendered, or are still discovering who you are. We welcome you, whatever your race or ethnic background. We are just glad that you are part of this family as we come together today to offer our thanksgiving to our God. Let us worship together. Let us pray. Loving and life-giving God, we come this day with grateful hearts for those in the faith who have gone before us. We are so thankful for their wisdom, their example, and their lives. We also give you thanks for the saints still among us in this life who join us in our faith walks through prayers and their presence. We are able to say with confidence that this is the day which you have made, and we will rejoice and are so very glad in it. O oh God, this has been a good week for many among us as we have taken opportunities to get out in the parks and our neighborhoods and walk in the beauty of autumn. But we're also aware that it's been a difficult week for many. We pray for those we know and love who suffer from coronavirus and from other health issues. We pray for the people who are in the midst of tests and waiting for results to know about their health issues. We pray for the people who are in those cities torn with riots and for the families of victims of violence. We pray for the sisters and brothers of color who must live in a world that keeps them from being all that you have created them to be. And we pray for the good police officers throughout our nation who try to do their duty the best they can. God, 
We also lift up the people of New Orleans who have suffered yet another hurricane. Keep them focused on a future where they can live without fear of those storms taking all they have, and in some cases, taking those they love. Give them hope for a better future and help us to be a people to bring hope to all who live in fear or who suffer. We pray for the voting in this country, that it will go smoothly and without incident, that all who are able to vote may do so peacefully and without fear of violence or COVID. We pray that the results of the voting will be accepted by all and that no incidents arise from disgruntled voters. We trust that you watch over your people, O Lord, and we want what is best for this country and for the world. Help us to have the faith and hope that you are with us at all times as your faithful people. Let us be examples to all who believe in how best to react to the world around us. And we pray this in the name of Jesus, who taught that when we pray, we're to pray like this. Our Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body A reading from 1st Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the Church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. 
We always give thanks to God for all of you and mention you in our prayers, constantly remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor of love and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, beloved by God, that he has chosen you because our message of the gospel came to you not in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction. Just as you know what kind of persons we proved to be among you for your sake. And you became imitations of us and of the Lord, for in spite of persecution, you received the word with joy, inspired by the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For the word of the Lord has sounded forth from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has become known, so that we have no need to speak about it. For the people of those regions report about us what kind of welcome we had among you and how you turned to God from idols to serve a living and true God and to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the wrath that is coming. Welcome to my devotional space, the place where I spend set-apart time with God every day. This is my granddaddy's chair. So often when I visited my grandparents, I would walk into the living room and see granddaddy sitting in his chair, maybe reading a newspaper. And when he saw me, he always stood up to greet me and hugged me gently patting my back. Granddaddy was gentle and quiet, always there. As a child, I knew that his home was my home, too. There I belonged. There I was loved. When I was in high school, as Granddaddy's health declined, I took solace in my favorite book, A Ring of Endless Light by Madeline L'Engle. In this book, 15-year-old Vicki and her family spend a summer living with her beloved grandfather, who has leukemia. Vicki grieves by reading po writing poetry, including a poem that begins like this. She wrote, a great ring of pure and endless light dazzles the darkness in my heart and breaks apart the dusky clouds of night. The end of all is hinted in the start. When we are born, we bear the seeds of blight. Around us, life and death are torn apart. Yet a great ring of pure and endless light dazzles the darkness in my heart. That summer, Vicki befriends a marine biology student named Adam, who is studying dolphins living in the wild. Vicki discovers that she has a special rapport with dolphins. She can understand what they're saying without speaking. When she hears dolphins sing and sees them soaring through the air, dancing in and out of the water, she feels their joyful communion with God and with God's creation. At the end of the story, as Vicki's grandfather is dying and she feels overwhelmed by grief, she goes to the water. The dolphins find her and encircle her and sing alleluias to her. And she is caught up in the ring of endless light that dazzles the darkness 
of her heart. This past March, right after my beloved grandma died, and I felt overwhelmed by grief and by the darkness descending on us through the pandemic, I found my copy of A Ring of Endless Light, and I remembered that when Madeline LaEngel visited my school in 1983, she signed my book for me. She wrote, For Elizabeth, be a light bearer. Madeline LaEngel. After I read this, something made me go to my bedroom dresser. And I saw there, really saw there, the music box Grandma gave me years ago. Dolphins. <laughs> Alleluia. 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 Our saints are eternally present with us, in body and in spirit. They pray with us and for us, like granddaddy still sitting in his chair, smiling at me, and grandma singing with the dolphins, and Madeline La Engel reminding me of my call to bear the light of Christ in this world. So many objects on this table remind me of saints in my life, those beloveds who bear Christ's light of faith, hope, and love in our dark and troubled world. They are connected to Paul's beloved friends in the church in Thessalonica, women and men who received the gospel through their relationships with Paul and Timothy and Silas, and through the power and presence of God, through the Holy Spirit. These saints responded courageously and faithfully to the word they received, bearing Christ's light among people who worshiped Roman idols and who persecuted those who felt called to live in the way of Christ. Paul gave thanks for these saints who imitated Christ, who lived lives worthy of imitation by others just as our saints reveal the light of Christ shining within them and show us that this light lives in us too. And so this morning, as we continue to live through the pandemic, as we await the results of a contentious election, and as we experience the struggles and sorrows of our own lives, let us remember, let us rejoice. We are not alone in our deep and dazzling darkness. Our saints are with us, bearing the light and love and hope of Christ. And they remind us that life in Christ is eternal, that we too are part of a ring of pure and endless light. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Amen. And now, now as we continue in our time of worship, we welcome four new brothers and sisters into our Monroe Street community. We received them into membership during our Zoom Coffee Fellowship this past week. Please join me in giving thanks for Carolyn Edmonds, Barb Lane, Tony Lane, and Rich Solo. Okay. This morning we are overjoyed to be welcoming, receiving into our membership, uh, four new brothers and sisters. We are welcoming Rich Solo, Barb and Tony Lane and Carolyn Edmonds. And so we'd like to begin um, this time together by inviting their sponsors to introduce them to us. Um, so Ruth, could you go first and tell us a little bit about, about Rich? 
This is Rich Solo, my spouse. Rich is a retired plumber and he's an artist and he's a big Michigan fan, but he, um, he also is willing to serve wherever he's needed, um, is, is a good and willing servant, so. Thank you. Welcome, Rich. Welcome. And Lynn, could you please introduce to us Barb Lane and Tony Lane? Hi, uh, yes. Uh, Sam and I are pleased to be sponsoring Barb and Tony Lane. Barb and Tony are transferring membership from Mommy United Methodist, and they are indeed gifts to our church. Um, Barb and Tony are both na native to Toledo. They were high school sweethearts and graduated together from Stark High School. Their family, those twins, Jessica and Ian, are now both grown up and both living with their spouses in Columbus. Barb and Tony have three grandchildren. Jessica and Stephanie have twin boys who have just turned 13, as well as baby Reese, who is just a year and a half. And Ian and Larry serve as the world's best uncles. <laughs> yes, they do. Um, so both, uh, as I mentioned, both have been very active in church throughout their lives. Um, as adults, they ran youth groups. They've been on just about every committee there is. Um, Barb has now joined Angel Wings Bell Choir and has volunteered to ring the biggest bells. Mm -hmm. which is a big service. Um, they've taught child, children and adult Sunday school for 35 years. They've led in mission trips. They're delegates to annual conference. And of course, they are our drama leaders. Um, this was what first uh, made me aware of their level of inspiration and enthusiasm last Lenten season when they began the theater run shortly before the shutdown and ended it um, on YouTube. Um, also this August and September, Sam really enjoyed working with Tony as they put together the cabinets for the Bluff Street Village tiny houses. Um, Barb is also, however, an occupational development manager at Telesystems, which is the business side of Buckeye Cable. And um, she is leadership development manager, which means that she teaches people how to play nicely in the sandbox. And um, Tony works for BAFF, B-A-F-F, -F, which is the world's largest chemical company. And yeah, um, so began uh, 120 years ago. She's laboratory supervisor involved in automotive paint. Asked what they like about Monroe Street. They replied that we're a reconciling congregation and when the, with the general conference still considering where it's going on LGBTQA+, Monroe Street is a good place to be. So welcome, Tony and Barb. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you so much. And Marilyn, could you please, um, I think you're muted, so we need you to unmute yourself and introduce Carolyn. She is transferring to us from Hope United Methodist Church and previously she was at Pastor Elizabeth's Calvary Church. She hails from Elyria, Ohio, came to Toledo like 53 years ago with her husband's job transfer. Husband has, uh, has passed away about 20 years ago now. Uh, she has grown son and daughter and they, uh, you know, they're both married with families. So she has five grandchildren and four great ones, all living reasonably close or at least in Ohio. She was a beautician for like 50 years. Her activities, uh, she has helped in our bridge program with her good friend, Issa Rivera, who's originally from Calvary. She really likes, really, really likes our church service. I bet every second time I talk to her, she says, oh, I really like your church. So that's, uh, that about covers it. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you so much. So now Pastor Larry will ask Carolyn and Rich and Tony and Barb our membership questions. And your response to the two questions will be, I will. As members of Christ Universal Church, will you be loyal to the church and do all in your power to strengthen its ministries? If so, you will answer, I will. I will. I will. As members of this congregation, Will you faithfully participate in its ministries by your prayers, your presence, your gifts, and your service? I will. I will. I will. 
I commend these persons to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope and perfect them in love. Now I have a question for you. Will you as members of the body of Christ and of Monroe Street Church, renew your covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by your prayers, your presence, your gifts and your service so that in everything God is glorified through Jesus Christ. If so, say, I will. I will. I will. Amen. The God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish and strengthen all of us, that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we may live together in grace and peace. Amen. 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 Welcome, Barb. Amen. Welcome, Tony. Amen. Welcome, Carolyn. Welcome, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth, God of Abraham and Sarah, God of Miriam and Moses, God of Joshua and Deborah, God of Ruth and David, God of the priests and the prophets, God of Mary and Joseph, God of the apostles and the martyrs, God of our fathers and our mothers, God of our children to all generations. And so, with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you. Blessed is your son, Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which Jesus gave himself up for us, he took bread, he blessed it, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And then after supper, he took the cup, and he returned thanks. And he gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is the cup of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. And so it is in remembrance of these mighty acts in Jesus Christ that we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and a living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us, that our lives may proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, died. Christ, Christ is risen, risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. Renew our communion with all your saints, especially those whom we name before you. Clifford Wright. Gladys Ford.
Dotty Rice. Cleo Hill. Gerilyn Hammernick. Rose Marilyn Morning. Beverly Metcalf. Dick Carwhite. Richard Wise. Jean Denman. Georgia Register. Sally Cox. Ford Kreider. Joan Hannah. and those which we name in our hearts today. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, strengthen us to run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. By your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. And now with the confidence of the children of God, let us join together boldly to pray, saying, Our Mother, our Father, Father, who is in heaven, heaven, holy is is your name. name. Your Your kingdom kingdom come, come, your your will be done, on on earth as as it it is is in heaven. heaven. Give Give us this day our daily bread. bread. Forgive Forgive us our our sins as we forgive those who who sin sin against us. us. Save us from the time of trial and and deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The bread which we break, it is a sharing in the body of Christ. This cup is a cup of love poured out for us, reminding us of Christ's great love for us.
This is the body of Christ broken for you and for me. Take and eat. This is the cup of blessing which is poured out for you and for me. Take and drink. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world by the strength of your Spirit to give ourselves for others. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Now to the one who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of God's glory with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, now and forever. Amen. Amen.